بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب أزواجه وصوريته أجمعين قدم الله جك العاقمة philosophy of religion in philosophy of religion uh, a family of argument advanced to prove the existence of God it's not just a one argument but it's a type of argument these arguments um, are based on not on the analysis of God's essential nature or the concept of God but on the nature of the cosmos or universe so that's that's an important thing so in some arguments uh, for the existence of God you proceed from from a concept of God or essential nature of God and from there from the concept you argue that the existence of God is necessary so for example ontological arguments are one of those types of arguments on the other hand in cosmological and that's why it's called cosmological cosmos you start from cosmos or universe Because actually cosmos just mean universe, it's another name for from Greek cosmos. And from Latin you have through Latin it comes in English language. So cosmological arguments on the other hand they start with cosmos or the nature of cosmos. Or the existence of cosmos, and from there they argue that the existence of God is necessary. Most of them say necessary, but probably you can think of cosmological argument, which no, I don't remember top of my head but I'm sure there are some where they say it's probable so but the main thing is in cosmological argument you proceed from the nature of cosmos that's why you have to for example cosmos itself in English language mean uh, an orderly harmonious systematic universe <laughs> so that so this this uh, this this all so that's why we differentiate between cosmos and universe in that sense that it is a orderly ha harmonious systematic universe so that's why you have chaos as against cosmos so universe and cosmos uh, literally or etymologically mean universe but universe which is harmonious and systematic in English language anyway. so, so, so order and harmony for example or change for example or motion for example and from there you argue that the existence of God is necessary okay, let's get back to this uh, so Cosmological argument, philosophy of religion, like it is in philosophy of religion. It's not necessarily just philosophy of religion. A family of argument advanced to prove the existence of God. These arguments are based not on the analysis of God's essential nature, but the nature of, of the cosmos or universe. Different versions argue respective, respectively from empirical facts. 
the Vata universe. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just ran back to Urdu. Um, um, different versions are argue respectively from the fa empirical facts that the universe is in the motion. So empirical facts. Now the thing is, cosmos and universe itself is not an empirical fact. Nobody has, you can say potential empirical fact, but that would be a presupposition as well. But within cosmos and universe, you have empirical facts that universe is in motion so what's the cause of motion causally organized contingent ordered to the conclusion that there must be unmoved mover which is called god uh, for example by aristotle so this is aristotle aristotle is very important for this argument uh, for the western tradition and for the christian tradition and for islamic tradition as well because the, they they study the same philosophy and were. so cosmological argument came to a Christian through Aristotle uh, and to Muslim through Aristotle as well. So an uncaused cause or necessary being or ordered being. So from the nature of um, the universe, you argue that. God exists. God is then identified with the being that is shown to be necessary in order to explain the selected features of the world. So that selected features can be either order or harmony or motion or whatever. Plato, Aristotle, Aquinas, Descartes, Leibniz and Locke. You can put in Ibn Sina, Ghazali and all those people are among the defenders of one of the, or more versions. Uh, of the of the onto, uh, of the ontological arguments while uh, so so these people are uh, Plato Aristotle while Hume Kant Mill and Russell are among the critics so these people uh, are the defender of cosmological argument while Kant Hume and Mill and Russell are Russell had a uh, this uh, Famous debate with uh, Father Coppelson, which I think is on internet as well, but that was on BBC Radio. And Kant's argument, Kant uh, doesn't deny cosmological argument, but he said that, I think he, yeah, but he, he does criticize cosmological argument based on some of the arguments which I sort of alluded, alluded to. I think one of his no, I, I don't uh, remember all the details, but one of his uh, criticism is uh, the distinction between the events within universe and the universe is the, the whole. So em events within universe are empirical facts, but universe itself is not an empirical fact. And Mill, I think, uh, in uh, his autobiography, I think he says that his father said to him, never ask the question who created the universe or who caused the universe because then you would have to ask the question who caused God. <laughs> um, and Russell mentioned that in his autobiography as well. A major difficulty facing all versions of argument lies in the ambiguous nature of their key no notions such as the necessity. Because when we were discussing last time in uh, uh, relation to reconstruction necessity we talked about necessity you know it can be physical necessity it can be psychological necessity it can be logical necessity so the ambiguity between all those and causal causality as well you know, causality can be what does cause mean and what's the relation between cause and effect that's a huge um, controversial a topic within I mean controversial topic within uh, philosophy and then you have um, causality you have necessary cause you have a sufficient cause so God is is the God necessary cause a sufficient cause and also even if argument succeeds shows the existence of a divine object whereas a religion requires God to be known primarily as a person yeah so normally uh, religion uh, normally the 
uh, normally the motivation behind a religious uh, justification of uh, the argument or use of the cosmological cosmological argument is that uh, so the religious uh, religious argument religion for example christianity islam and kalam or scholastics they use cosmological argument Firstly, in order to defend rationally against those who reject God. And then to show its possibility that the God, or even necessity that the God exists, but then argue that you, you can't know God, the nature of God based merely on, you can um sort of know rationally certain broad features but you can't know the full nature of god except through revelation so so religion uses that uh, so that argument doesn't really apply to revealed religion in a sense because they don't say that i mean most of them don't say that you can know god uh, entirely through rational argumentation but r rational argumentation is used in conjunction with religious teaching and divine revelation I think um, it's not the true of all the religion but most of the religion the entry finish, finishes there this is the quote in in the widest sense of the term any theistic argument that proceeds from the word to God the world to God can be described as cosmological. Okay, that was clear. So I, th I think that was a good exercise. Subhanakallah wa bihamdi wa nashallah wa ilahi 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 wa 